What's going on YouTube? This is part six, I will say, of my gigantic collection. Um, <laughs> I bought another thing from TCG Player. Hasn't came in yet. Um, and a couple other cards did come in. Were not near mint. Kind of irritated the crap out of me. But this is going to be um, Review Starlight and Bunny Senpai and ReZero. So when it comes to Review Starlight, we did not get the second set. Uh, one whole thing on this particular one. I did order these cards. They were supposed to come in. But they still haven't came in. So, it's been about three weeks now. I just emailed the guy. Just said, hey, is the cards being shipped? Or what's up? So, hopefully, because there is a lot of delays um, in USPS right now. If this had the second set, definitely would have been a little bit stronger. But... Again, I think this one's a Bushiroad IP, but it did not do too well. I did order this again. This was in the same order. It didn't do too well. Um, in general, I do like Mahiru. I love Mahiru so damn much. She's a really good character. Um, yeah, I just like... I like the girls. They're, they're pretty cool. Um, but long story short, uh, I don't think the actual set sold well. So you do have a lot of overlay. Um, I am going to do something with these trial decks I do have of um, Review Starlight. Um, I'm, I am thinking about just giving a lot of it away to new players. So if there are new players out there, I will probably do a little video and just say, Hey guys, I just need your information. I'm going to send it out. This is going to be the trial deck. I am missing a couple pieces here. So the reason why I'm giving it away because I want to open up the trial decks to find these particular pieces. Because I do not want to pay $40 a piece for these actual cards. This is in the trial deck. Uh, I, like I said, I like them. I think the second set should have just came out. But, you know, with the weak sales of Review Starlight, um, it just didn't do too well. And I don't think the people took the set that well. So, I will be collecting all the SPs and all the random stuff. The ones I do have for this particular set will be here. We got... I think Karen Aijo. We do have my favorite, Mahiru. We do have uh, Claudine. I did pull this one out of a box. And then I bought these two, right? I bought actually these three. So I do have, I think Hikari, right? Yeah, Hikari. Got those three. And then I do have these three for the regular SPs. I'm going to try to collect everything. Uh, like I said, I do like these girls. I think the anime was okay. I mean, but in general, I do like them. So I do want to collect everything I can before they get very, very expensive. Or if they don't get expensive, hopefully the price will go down and I'll be happy. Bunny Senpai. 100% underrated set. Sold out immediately. Booster boxes are about 200 bucks a pop right now. Um, God. Love Sakura Jima I swear to God. Um. Could not, um, well, finish the whole anime, so don't spoil it for me. I just, I'll get to it. I just kind of, I don't know. I don't want, I don't want this, I don't want something like this to end. Um, it's kind of my feeling on this particular anime. But I do have the entire set. Now, we were talking about if I was going to trade in the card or not. Um, and all that good stuff. But here's the trial deck as well. I got all the triple rares in the trial deck. I am going back and forth on... What is that? Where is the main one? I think it's uh, I think it's this one, right? Nope, it's one of the actual ones here. Oh, this one. This SP. There's the trial deck SP that I was able to trade it in for the um, booster box and the Nodoka Runner. So, what I do have from here is I am going to try to collect these um the sps here they are very very expensive i do have this one as well so the reason being that i was more or less just not ready to do much i do have this one as well pulled those and yes i did i did i did i did trade it in i got a booster box so hopefully i'm looking at hopefully i could pick that other card up for about 400 bucks um, the way I look at it is I did pick it up for $150. I do have the booster box. I have this card now. You know, this is going to cost me about $400 anyways. If it goes on sale or when. Or you could buy it on TCG Player for $800. So, I was thinking it's going to be a wash. So, hopefully somebody does have it. Or if you guys want to sell it to me, near mint, non-played, let me know. What's the price point? I do want to 
buy it. Um, but I do have a lot more space on this particular site as well. So that's my Bunny Senpai and Review Starlight Collection. Next will be the ReZero lineup. Dun, da, da, da. This is the complete Series 1 ReZero. Right, I have every single card in this particular set. Um, all the different ones I think in here. I think the Part 2 I'm missing one card. And I think that's like that $30 one that I don't want to buy. It's like $30. I don't want to buy it. Um, but I do have every single card i love re-zero uh second series part uh, second season third season i don't know where we're at but it is a great one they do have some prs from the original in japanese because they did not come out in english so always keep in mind that um we got a couple other things i gotta all showcase to you guys right now because i gotta separate them all sorry and that's the other ones, right? All right, that's one. Okay, here we go. So, so this is going to be the first set. We are going to have the trial deck. This is the elusive trial deck. We do have the triple rare right here as well. Um, the SPs in this are three. 100%, there's three of them. SP1. Uh, this is also a triple rare right there. SP2 is here. SP3 is here. The Light of Love Rem, I do have myself. Bought it for 300 bucks. It's a beautiful card. I was Team Rem when I bought it. Now I did jump over to Team Amelia. I do have this one. I did pull this one out of my own boxes. And then I just bought the Subaru. Nobody really likes Subaru, so he's always hella cheap, right? So that's going to be out of the first set. This is part two, and I am missing the... I think you'll see it. Yeah, it's a, it's, I, I don't know why it's so expensive, but I think it's going to end up being like the, um, what was it, the uh, swimsuits in Konosuba. It's just a ridiculously expensive. Um, a lot of people do like this card right here. I do have the SR version. Every SR is there besides this one. Um, part 2 definitely was a, a great set. I think that a lot of people do like it. I am missing the Japanese PR of Emilia, I will be buying that shortly. It's not that expensive. I do have the Yukata um, Rem with the Emilia. This was the promo. This was the Japanese promo that was inside of the towel. Um, bought this for like $10. And I did buy the towel too. I, did, I bought the towel thinking that I was going to open it up. But I didn't want to open it up. And I found this one on Mercari. And I bought this one right away. So, I'm just missing one PR here. I do have... One SP, which is this one. Two SP, which is this one. Um, and the other one, I know I should put it in a one touch. Everybody's saying that this is a very expensive card. Um, we do have the Amelia there as well. The Amelia I did pull again. So, you flip it over. Now we got Re uh, Rezo Memory Snow. Great little movie. A little bit too much fan service for Rem. Kind of... This is the movie that actually destroyed me for Ram was being really too needy of Subaru. Not a fan. Just not a fan of that whole thing. Um, but the anime in general is good. They do get drunk a little bit and it's pretty funny. But I do like this set. The, the actual price point dropped dramatically on this particular product. I do not know why. I think it's a great set. Um, Drunk Amelia. I think that this, this set in general is underrated and you'll probably see something that's a little bit different from the original, my normal, right? So I do have the uh, Ram, we got Subaru, we also do have Beatrice. Um, I did have the Beatrice for the first one but I did bend it and then I sold it. We do have the Amelia and I did pick up the Ram as well. So. We do have all of those, but the reason uh, I have these cards here on the playset for is that I think this set was underrated. I got these for three dollars a piece. These are like one dollar. Like all these cards were very underpriced. Um, and then I realized I had some of the cards. Like all of these, a lot of these were less than a dollar when I bought them. And I think if you really play with it, you can put about eight cards into the memory, which would be. 
your main starters here. Yes, I am missing one. Uh, main starters here. These will go into the memory. Um, you would also have these snow bunny rabbits. I need two more to go in the memory. And then you could put, I believe, four underneath the puck. So that's 12 cards you could take out of your deck right away. Um, not right away, but if it works perfectly, it'll work fine. But that's the reason why I have these in a different attire because I do like this set. Um, of course, I'm going to always play GGO, but if I do say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go ReZero. This is going to be the uh, the deck and the set that I'm going to be playing because it was very, very cheap to play this particular set. Um, I didn't mess up. 100% Mob Psycho. I think that uh, finisher, insane. It's like uh, level 3, 2. And I think you, p you pitch 2 and then it restands itself so you can re-attack. So it's like a double attack. I was like, oh, that's a hefty card there. Um, yeah, but I do like more stuff like that. Um, I did not buy it again. Not a big fan of Mob Psycho, but I think it's a very strong set as well. Just like Adventure Time, I think it's a strong set. Um, but when you really look at the numbers, and if you're on the my side of the fence, and you, t you talk to distributors um, probably once a week, once every other week, um, you'll know what sets are going to be hit and what's not. Uh, the next three sets are just so-so. Actually, the the memory no frozen bonds and the Madoka first one very weak sets. No, it's not 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 going to be as strong. Fake Grand Order will have its own little thing, but then it's going to be Data Live. That's going to be the kingpin. Everything else after that, I don't know, man. I don't know where Vice Force is going. I don't know where it's going to end, but it's not looking really strong after Data Live. Um, at this moment so keep in mind that I'm always going to be collecting I'm always going to be showcasing everything so ladies and gentlemen this is going to be part something of the collection um, next one will be the last part I believe and I'm waiting for one card to come in the mail all right y'all take care